All right, so this is how to make a red dot like the one you see here where it's uh, facing things. Uh, you know, when it's aimed on something that's, you know, solid that we can shoot, then it's going to appear. And then as soon as it's on something that we don't want to shoot, it's not going to be there. Uh, I could switch guns and come back and it would be back. And uh, I'm just going to show you that you can shoot some of these enemies and it appears on them. We turn the volume down. So this is a game that I'm about to release uh, and just have a little tutorial on it, but I'm just making a quick tutorial on how to do this red site so you can see that it works. Now that I'm done demonstrating it, I'll uh, exit the game, show you how it's done. So I have these guns here, and this is the Mac 10 Let me actually find the uh, Derringer that I was using. So, all right, so there's the gun that I was using in the game, and I have this raycast here, which is actually detecting uh, what we shoot. So that's just the collision raycast for our gun's bullets. What I did is duplicate that raycast and name it laser sight, and then I attach this script. And on top of that, we also needed to make this scene here, which is called uh, red dot. And all this scene is, is just a quad mesh that always faces the camera. Uh, we just went in the materials after we added the quad mesh here. We just said um, shading, unshaded. We also went down to billboard and enabled that. That way it always faces us. And then we're going to spawn this in every time our gun is pointed at something solid. So to do that, we'll go back to our gun, show off how that works. We have our raycast laser sight. In the script, we can see that every time our raycast is colliding, we first check and see if we already have the um, dot spawned. If the dot is not spawned, then we spawn it, you know, we add it, um, we declare it up here. Uh, but then if it already is, uh, well, regardless of whether it is or is not already spawned, we um, then change its position to the collision point of the raycast so whatever we're looking at and then if it's not colliding with anything meaning it's like facing space we don't need to render it so we'll say um, uh, we just remove it from the tree and then since I switch guns I also need to whenever it exits the tree we need to remove the red dot and then this will uh, spawn it back in again whenever we switch back to that gun so it's a pretty simple script I just figured I would um, Put this out there uh, i thought it was pretty cool but i didn't really see a lot of uh, tutorials on how to do it like this so have a good one